How to comb your hair. Yes, that is the topic of today's video. And I'm gonna be doing some more hair tip videos. I'm really just taking a break from these TikTokers who, you know, they all, a lot of them end up having the same haircut. So I'm gonna take a break from that right now. I'll be, I'll be doing more movie stuff and, you know, actors and things like that uh, coming soon and still video game characters and all that cool stuff. But what I wanna to talk to you about today is how to comb your hair. Cause I get a lot of, you know, messages and people even comment saying, you know, oh, when I comb my hair, it, you know, it rips out or a lot of hair comes out or it gets tangly or knotty and all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna show you a couple of, you know, techniques and a few tricks and tips that are going to really help you. So there's really three br brushes uh, or types of brushes or combs you can use. So this is a regular hair cutting comb, right? And the hair cutting comb has the wide teeth, which allows for the comb to brush through the hair a bit easier. Uh, when you're cutting hair with a wide tooth comb, uh, what happens is, is because there's a bit more spacing on it, it allows the hair to have a bit more uh, movement and it's not so strict or so tight when it comes to the section. If you flip it around and use the fine teeth of the comb, which I tend to use, it, the hair is really tight and it's much more gathered together because the bristles here, right, these things are much closer together. So therefore it's gonna be a much tighter section of hair. Now, the next thing is, or next comb, this is what is called like a wide tooth comb. This really is ideal for trying to get through very knotty, longer hair types because a comb will just create a mess. So as you can see here, the separation is a lot more visible and evident and also it allows you to really just get the brush through the hair. It's great for knots. And then lastly, this is a vent brush. So the vent brush, you just have a lot more control because there's a handle and you're able to kind of really work the hair a bit more as compared to these combs that don't have any sort of handles on them, you can control it you know, only so much. But with a vent brush, because of the handle, you can actually use your wrist, you can turn the hands, you can direct the hair and the brush however you want to. So this is really good for more styling options, but the best, or even a paddle brush, if you've got, if you're you know, a woman and you've got super long hair, and you, or you're you know, a guy and you've got hair that is just really, really tough to get through, Use something like this because it's gonna help prevent any sort of ripping the hair out. So what you wanna do, right? Here's a couple of tips is, actually is what you don't wanna do, is if you have the hair type where it's very, very fine, right? Or thin, or even super, super coarse, or wavy, or curly, you know, just be careful. What you don't wanna do is take a comb while your hair's dry with the fine teeth of the comb and just take it and start brushing it back because what's happening, even on this mannequin head, it's getting stuck in the hair, it's ripping out the knots, and that is what's causing some of your hair to probably break off or to make even more knots. So really, really, really be careful. Yes, it gets through the hair, right? And it will get rid of the knots if, if you do it right, or it can cause a lot of knots, but you just need to be careful because it's going to cause some breakage to the hair. Now, if you take the wide teeth, right, or the wider part of the comb, and you brush it back, yes, it's going to get through the hair a bit easier. However, what you need to worry about is depending on your hairstyle, anytime you run a comb through it, you may risk breaking up the product that's in your hair. It may kind of change the hold a little bit of the product and the structure of the style, because what you're doing is you're kind of just working that product through the hair and you're either gonna be making it very, very flat to the head or you're going to be combing it through and loosening up the hair. So if that's something you wanna do, then that's great. Same thing goes for the wide tooth comb and also something like this. Anytime you run a brush through the hair, you know, it's going to really create something uh, of an outcome because of the product in your hair. Now, as you see, because I use the comb or the vent brush or whatever, that is how you get that effect. 
right? A lot of people, you know, sometimes, oh, how do I get my hair to be feathered? You need a comb like this. And as you can see, what ha what's happening in the hair is every single one of these pieces is part of a layer. And <laughs> so here's the catch, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure that your hair is layered and cut properly or else you're not going to be able to get this type of feathered look. See what I did with my hands? The wider or the more separated the comb or your fingers are, it's gonna give kind of less chunks or less layers and it's gonna be a bit softer like this. If you take the comb, you can see there's a lot more movement, right? A lot more movement in the haircut. <clears throat> You'll get a similar effect with the vent brush, maybe not as pronounced. If you were to use a fine tooth comb like this and you're combing it back, what's happening is it's actually, see it's getting rid of all those layers, even though they're still there, it's combing through it and almost straightening it to the point where you don't see anything. If you use the wider teeth, even on a hair cutting comb, you'll start to see some of those layers, but what this does is it kind of bushes the hair out and creates additional volume or even sometimes frizz that you don't really want. So the best thing to do when combing your hair is to make sure you're doing it when your hair is pretty much damp. You want to use something like 25 spray, which is a leave-in kind of conditioning treatment spray that has 25 benefits to it. You always spray something like that in when it's wet or damp and then you comb through your hair. So what comb do you use when your hair is wet? Again, the fine tooth or the fine teeth on the comb, that's okay and it may glide through the hair a little bit easier with product or when it's wet. But depending on what you want to do, if you do need to get rid of some knots, you know, maybe now is the time to comb through the hair when it's wet so there's no ripping. And if you do feel knots, what you want to do is hold the hair like this and then start to comb through at the ends first and then work your way up. You don't, if you feel knots down here, you don't ever want to start at the top and comb into the knots because what you're doing, you're just building layers of knots. So hold the hair from the scalp like this. And the reason you do that is because, so you don't feel it at, on the scalp area. You're just really feeling what you're holding down and through here, right? That's an old school trick of how to get rid of knots, you know? Or you can use a vent brush. Again, the vent brush is very, very effective in getting rid of knots or tangles when the hair is wet, okay? Uh, again, just be careful you're not disrupting the style uh, when your hair is dry by using any one of these combs. Please let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Uh, I love doing hair tip videos. If there's anything that you need tips on or advice on, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.